Hello, Tina Tubers. Wow, it's been a while. I don't even know. I think it's been over a week. Uh, but I'm back. And today is the first day in, in weeks that I'm feeling more like me. It has been one huge struggle. Uh, physically and emotionally, it's been, it's been a real struggle, but I keep praying every day, keep, keep the faith and uh, friends and, um, YouTubers and you watching YouTube and Netflix and documentaries has really gotten me through because believe me, I think I've been out of my house twice in two weeks. So today was the first day that I feel halfway decent. I went the other day and got my hair done, which I don't know if I'll put on this tape or not. Hello, Tina Tubers. It's been a while. Just got my hair cut. Well, not this part. This part we're letting grow this summer. I told you that. The bangs. The bangs were a joke. So, guys, I had plans to go to Hard Rock Cafe with Debbie and Tanya to kind of celebrate my birthday and see Tanya. We haven't seen her, hockey's over, so we don't get to see her like we did. And I had to cancel because my stomach is killing me. I feel like I have an ulcer, but again, it could be stress and anxiety. So I just find it all very, upsetting because there's nothing worse than canceling. I've canceled all last week with everybody that I had plans with. So it makes me not want to make any plans with anybody because it's just so upsetting. And so I tried. I got up at 4. I was up at 4.30 and um, you know, tried to psych myself into feeling good and work. I don't want to go and be feeling this way, A, for myself. It's no fun for me to go and sit there and have lunch when you don't feel like eating and have a drink when you don't. I'm not, I mean, I couldn't drink. There's no way because I just feel my stomach is killing me. So anyway, so last week it was I canceled with my friend Lynette. Um, I canceled with I did make it for my dinner on Sunday night with Terry and them. I had to cancel with Sandy. Um, yeah, so it's just been cancel, cancel, cancel. And I can't, it's just really upsetting. So anyways, um, I got some Timu. So I thought maybe I would do that when I get home and then I'm going to bed. So anyways, I'm always happier when my hair is done. I just feel so much better, but not in my stomach. <laughs> but you know, like the one thing I'm grateful for is there's two things that happened last week that were really difficult and my eye is better. Um, it's not totally, my vision is still a little blurred, but I mean the pain, oh my gosh, honey. That was awful. I don't wish it on no a buddy. Okay. And I had to come home. I was ready to go to Tampa with Debbie and our friend Tanya to celebrate my birthday that I never celebrated. Again, second year in a row, doom and gloom. Anyways, I wasn't even as happy as I was last year with COVID. So it was definitely mental as well. So anyways, that's, that's my story. And today I thought I would once again, Dun, dun, dun. Uh, these packages have been sitting here for over a week, waiting for me to feel better and do a YouTube, I mean a, t a YouTube, a Timu haul. So anyways, um, let's see. I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I have watched that I have just really totally enjoyed. Um, I'm a documentary person, so most of this is probably from Netflix. Some might be from Hulu, but 
The first one that I loved was Judy Bloom Forever. I'll put her picture up here and the documentary, a picture of the documentary, Judy Bloom Forever. I had no idea that she was the writer of um, Are You There, God? This is Margaret. I, because I didn't have children, I knew nothing about her children's books and how they made such an impression uh, back, I think, when she did them in the 80s, I'm not sure. So what I thought was so, she's an amazing lady, an amazing spirit. I just absolutely, I love my mom, but man, she would have been a good mom because she was just out there up front, but she was from a different generation. And she was just up front and, and told it like it is. And I just love her. So her books uh, for young kids um, dealt with bullying and then they dealt with dating and, um, first kiss, all that good stuff. And then she went through a personal divorce. And so she wrote uh, more adult books on, on, on her situation and what she was in her experience. So I just think she's amazing. She's one of these women that she's 83 years old, lives in, she, they finally settled in Key West, her and her wonderful husband. And she opened a bookstore there, which I wanna go see. She often goes to the bookstore, and of course, all her Judy Bloom books are there. And now it makes me wanna get a couple, and uh, I don't know, I just find her fascinating. I hope you will too. So anyways, that's one of them. The other one was, I don't recall this. See, this is what I love, because as you're older, you sit down and have time to learn. You know, learn, just open your mind and go, I go, where was I when this was happening? This, this documentary was called Pepsi, Where's My Jet? And I didn't realize this, but back in the 80s, I think Pepsi ran these commercials. They're always been second to Coca-Cola. So they ran these commercials where you could, if you got, you open the bottle cap, you had so many points. And they ran a catalog for a long time on um, different things you could get with so many points. And then they had a commercial that shows this Harrier jet, which is like an Air Force jet, um, with no disclaimer at the bottom. And this young kid, Leonard, I think his name was, I can't remember his name. He took him up on it and had a best friend that was an older man that helped him on his way to challenge Pepsi. And it was quite, quite, Quite an amazing story, and I'm not gonna I'm not going to tell you the ending, but you get a couple things out of it—an incredible friendship, and um, I don't know, some entrepreneur and some young people and corporation, and I don't know. It was fascinating, absolutely fascinating. So, anyways, I got these passport. Um, passport portfolios for my brother who's watching and Terry who's probably watching and I'm going to give that to them because they just now got their passports and their cruise travelers and hopefully one day they're going to get to go overseas too so anyways I got them those and then the funny thing is stupid me remember how I told you about the towel that I even showed you a picture of and it, it was so like a joke well, it's because I had this. I bought the small and not the large. So here we are again. I will send that other one to the Goodwill, and hopefully they got the snaps better on this one. I doubt it, but anyway, cute. Let's see if this fits any better. And I just had somebody at the doorbell. Now I went and tried to order these again to see if they weren't all squished and ruined because the last ones I gave away, they were only, they're $6, but they were so ruined. So what I'm gonna do is put, like see how they do? So I'm gonna see if I can make them go back to shape. Does anybody have any comments on how I might be able to do that? Just let me know. Okay, this is such, this isn't as bad. They're not as bad as my other ones, so I will keep these. And then again, why I buy this stuff, I don't know. Why? 
just tell me why. Oh my goodness, Tina. Tina Weena. That's what my brother used to call me, Tina Weena. What am I supposed to do with this? Bacon. No, maybe. Who cares, folks? I could put bacon in there. Kid, I could. Oh my, I got a bigger one yet. This is for, I really don't know. There was a reason I got this. I don't remember, but the big one is for paper. Oh my God. Oh well, you know, it is what it is, folks. It is what it is. There was a reason I got that one. But you know what? I should write it down in my brain when I buy this stuff. See, I'm all about organization. So this is for my brother's business for next year because I always end up buying it. Because uh, I keep his books, which I didn't. It gives me it gives me a heart attack to do it because he's not the best at giving me his paperwork, and I end up being so many months behind. It stresses me out, but he doesn't care because my brother is the busiest human on earth. And I'll tell you what, he's busy being a good worker. Uh, I mean, I, a good employee, and he's a good businessman of his own business. He's a great father, he's a great grandfather, and he's a good husband, and he's a wonderful brother. So I have to give him uh, amens. And if you're listening, my brother, you know how much I love you. Okay, so here we go. Oh, here's all the makeup. Wow, I got a new mascara. We're gonna see if I like it. Look at how thin that, uh, let's see, what does it say? Refu it's waterproof makeup, mascara. Okay, so this is, I don't know what this is. Let's see what it is. This is that concealer. So I got different colors. Remember I told you how much I loved it and mine was like, it looked like a pumpkin in it. It was just too, what is it, orange. It was gross. This is lip scrub. Just thought I would try it because I've tried others and didn't like them. So we're gonna see if I like this, right? Lip scrub. And I mean, I just bought a bunch of things, which I'm glad I did because I want to try out Makeup Eye Magazine. I think this is a brush. Got me. You got me wanting to. So I haven't seen a lot of Letty on, on but that doesn't mean, what the heck? Eye Magazine. Oh, eyeshadow, big deal. Isn't that cute? That looks like for a Barbie doll, but we'll we'll try her. Okay, we'll try that. More of the more of the concealer makeup. More. Okay. Then I bought emery boards because you need emery boards. This is I don't know what this is. What are you? I also bought. Um, because it's, their stuff is so cheap, you guys. DNM matte lipstick. Okay, we're gonna try some lipsticks. This is DNM. My hair is absolutely sweating. Lip liner. Oh, I think it's both. Yes, it's both. Now that is classy. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. I'll find out how much it is. The liner and the lipstick. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. You know, the thing is when I find something I love, I wanna buy it for everybody. That's how I am. Okay guys, that's it. I'm going to uh, get, you know those meals I get? What are they called? Home Chef? I think one was just delivered. I think I have them coming like every, every two weeks, something like that. So, 
and they're delicious and it gives me it i you know <gasps> wait till i tell you i made this um italian pie that i saw on tiktok and it looked fabulous i bought a uh spring form pan from amazon and when I got it, it looked beautiful, threw the box away, made made the pie, and I wanna tell you that I, I had a couple bites and threw the whole thing down the garbage. And I probably spent 20 bucks on it. And so anyways, um, for the base of it, they have spinach, frozen spinach that they steamed. And um, I was gonna make it for Debbie and she said, I don't want spinach. So I did black olives as the base. I don't know if that ruined it, Maybe I didn't cook it long enough. I'll show you the whole reel here, but it was awful. And um, then the spring form pan, when I went to scrub off the egg mixture, because you, you did egg like a quiche, um, the enamel or whatever, the material started coming away from the pan. So now I have to try to send it back without the box. We'll see. I'll let you know how that goes. Love fighting with people. Bye. Bye. I'm going to close the video for today. Remember, be good to yourself, be good to others, and God will bless your efforts. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.